Well, we really are out in desert country here. So um, we've had a camp about five kilometres out of Old Andado, just to the north. So we're heading in towards the uh, old homestead today. And we'll head out towards Mount Dare. So it's just a good day to see some good old heritage. Pay some uh, respect to Molly and the family and all the hard working ladies who lived out on the country like this. Tough hot conditions, so anyway, just enjoy old Anne Hatter Homestead. Bit of a comedian, eh? And when's it going to rain? Or when the good Lord sends it. You know, tough ass. Oh. But she was here for 30 years on her own. When her husband, he had a heart attack. They, oh, do you want me to tell you a real quick story? They came oh. here in the 50s with three young children. Primary school down to three year old. Three boys. They went, eventually they came as caretakers of, I think it was Andodo or here, maybe. I really don't they, know. They built Andodo. Yeah. Anyway. They were up there, they had cattle, the government came in and said they had brucellosis, they put all the cattle down oh. and, and when they were up there mm. and then the cattle, they found out eventually the cattle didn't have brucellosis and they wouldn't have, didn't need to put them down but they did it. Bit of a mistake, sorry about that. So that sent them all broke. So they sold their dodo and a lot of the property and, kept this part and came back down oh. and kept 46 square miles. Uh, square uh, kilometres, acres. Think of a word, mate. Hectares. Forty-six square hectares. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they had they had spun. Anyway, so so with that, you wanted one, didn't you? With that, the husband is flying a plane and he has a heart attack and he crashes the plane. Somehow gets to Alice Springs Hospital and dies in hospital. Yeah. And that's all around the same time as the brucellosis thing. Yeah, that and so. nine months later, the eldest son was driving, who was married with a little girl of four, was driving the ro his road train with a cattle in it um, across the level crossing down at Pimba, which is near Woomera, and went across the level crossing of the train, hit the truck, the, the road train, and killed him. But his mate and little Megan, who was four, survived. Now Megan is now one of the is the granddaughter who helps look after this. So another son, not that long after, died of I think it was cancer. So she's left with one son, and she's got grandchildren. Okay. Pass the plate to Adam. <laughs> Years, or she survived him by 30 years living here alone. 
So they Team the boys. Back Don't tell me you go for them, do you? Oh, look at this, mate. This is, this is desert food. Look at that. See, look at that. Need to have a cup of tea and a biscuit or a scone. Think right. she's right, mate. And in, over the years, <laughs> we've read that she actually made meals for them. And there's, do you know what dollars are? They're yeah, yeah, in, yeah. individual little ATCO yeah. rooms and stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Well, they've got accommodation over there, which we've got a couple staying over there as well. She's got hot showers and toilets over the back here. And yeah, so no. that's how she's done it. No more, Bailey. Why not? Oh, no, I'm going back. For that and old and dad, I really really enjoyed that. That was and so awesome. I was happy just to go there, look at that from the bike, mm, and say, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a homestead, yeah. But the history in there, oh, is, I never knew nothing about that, yeah. Well, that, that she was an amazing woman.